Well, as I get better at editing these videos, hopefully I'll be able to make them smoother, more understandable. But in the meantime, this is a look at our company today. And uh, I'll post some more later as soon as I can. All right, take care. Thank you. Um, what is an eviction? What do you call it? Uh, it's a disposition. Huh? Yeah, but it was called something, it was um, arbitration. So the arbitration wasn't being at the courthouse like we thought. Is that another building nearby? So I was in a rush, uh, no running one, along. No one could tell us where, where it was. No, I know. That's the craziest thing. And it was on the board. On it, the it's on the board in the courthouse, but it wasn't at the courthouse. And you were running around asking a lot of people, hey, hey you know, where, where's this? I don't know, how did we finally find out? I think, I think I found one person. And they're like, oh, it's down the street or something. Yeah. So we were rushing to be on time. And here I am jogging along, trotting uh, with my old fat self. <laughs> I don't know what I tripped over, right? Uneven crack in the cement. I suppose I could have sued the uh, city of Tacoma. You know, for... <laughs> Anyway, I, I'm not about lawsuits. That's not what I'm about. Man, did I bust myself. And I, I fell flat on my face, fractured my nose. I don't know what I did. Some, the blood came out of there like crazy. I never see anybody I bleed that much. Just, just streamed out like I had way in excess. I could have sold blood. Anyway, that was pretty crazy. I'm still hurting. That was, what, two weeks ago? More than that. Yeah. So what do you got going on today, Tisha? Um, I have some move outs. I have a move out in Olympia. A really nice house. Um, also, Lynette joined the Hollywood Hills Club. Oh, really? Yeah, she was supposed to be there today. Okay. All right. Well, keep I like on. You, I like how you thought that you diverted him towards Chris. <laughs> I like. I like that. He took the pressure off you and, and, and you said, "Oh, Chris, I like that." I do. I like that. <laughs> you, should, you should go ask Chris about that. Do you think, Joanne? Do you think Tanisha missed her calling? She, she could could have been a comedian. No, that's why I disagree. You disagree with that? <laughs> well, could she not that funny? I think she is. I think she belongs at this Oh, she she's, she's fits in the mold right where she's at. All right. All right. Keep on keeping on, y'all. So, hey, Chris. I hear you might have some information about something that happened last night or... What, what did Sasha say? Can I tell you something? There's a... rolling glass joint. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, was that the Proctor building? Yep. Yeah. Uh, in the alley? Uh, back in the back? Or is it the, the dog lady? The dog lady. Oh, dog lady, really? And uh, it had come off track at the top. It was all jammed up in there. The dog got in there? No, they rolled it up. Oh. And it came off the track at the top. Oh, okay. And then it was all jammed up in there. Oh, shit. Were you able to fix it? No. I got, I got the door to um, roll backwards so it would roll over that opening. And I had to put a, a lock on the front door. Then I got a tarp to cover all the windows. Oh, man. She was worried about people peeking in there, so we had to get a lock to cover that up. So, what's going to happen now? I'm going to get a blaster company to come out and yeah. to give that door some TLC. A professional that does that kind of thing. That's a big door. Man, yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's a that's a specialty item. So it needs lubrication, and the door needs to be bound and tightened up. And so is Tanisha handling that? Yeah, she's going to call the house for a couple weeks. Okay. So she okay. Well, keep on keeping on, brother. All right. <laughs> Doing good. <laughs> Doing fine. Thank you. Yeah. So, Johnny, what's going on today, Johnny? Uh, 
uh, midday, sir. Get that done. What are you serious? Yep, yep. And wow. that's something changed to be yesterday. She yep. told me to midday, sir, today. Well, don't forget, now, at lunchtime, you guys, uh, we have Filipino food coming in for tw for lunch at 12 noon. Nice. All right, so if be I can here. Pull away, I'm not up in your attic. I'll make it. All right. Well, if you <laughs> if can, I'm up in the attic, I may not make it. If you can't make it, <laughs> yeah. talk to Tanisha or Janet, and, mm. and they'll put a plate for you Ooh, aside. Nice. They'll yeah. cover it. Get a plate of food. They'll cover it mm. and put it in the fridge for you. All right? All right. Keep on. Keep it on, brother. Thank you, sir. Yep. Do you have a picture of your baby son? Are you going to put it on your screen? I know, he's so cute! Oh, what a face! Man, this is a beautiful kid. Oh, whoa! Open. I just look, the look who the cat <laughs> drug in! I'm making a YouTube video oh, for Naomi for advertising purposes. Oh, fantastic! For, for the company, you know. But we're trying, Naomi's our uh, office manager. She's a fully licensed, accredited property manager, managing over 200 doors. Yeah, wow, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, yeah, I got a message you had to take your son to school. I did. That's fine. Of course, that's fine. So, we got uh, Filipino food coming in today. I know Jeremiah said he's coming back just for the food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! Get that on video. What? Oh yeah! That's right. Emily Make showed me that. No so, reasonable cause. So, so what was that about, Naomi? Tell me real quick. So, uh, we had a tenant who moved out, um, was evicted for non-payment of rent, uh, went to court, got the judgment. He felt that he was being discriminated against because of his race, um, <laughs> and pre or filed a human rights commission complaint. Woo! Um, so Man, he, and that's serious. It is serious. That, that is really serious um, on many levels, especially the fact that we are not discriminatory. Um, and so we went through the whole system and filed our reports, our, our backup, and no what, reasonable what, what, cause. What? 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 <laughs> that's because we abide by the law. No. Their housing rights. That's right. So we won. Again, do, do you ever get tired of winning? No. No. <laughs> Who, who, who was the famous person that, who was the famous person that said he gets tired of winning, or never gets tired of winning? It was Trump on the campaign trail. <laughs> this, this one missed her calling. I'll tell you, she could have been a comedian. I'll tell you. So. Um, we haven't lost a lawsuit in court in 30 years. Not one. Because we dot our I's, cross our T's, we do the right thing. Follow the law. Follow the law. We're honorable. We have uh, respect for other people and we have self respect. So um, that's our mantra, so to speak. Anyway, <laughs> waiting for that <laughs> Filipino food at noon? Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. Who's it? What? Janet said she'll only be like an hour late. Oh, well, she's cooking the food, though. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get to cook and eat her soon. And she just got her citizenship. Yes, yeah, she did. She is now a United States citizen. What do you call that? Naturalized? Naturalization. Yeah, so she's a naturalized uh, U.S. citizen. She's excited. She's so, she jumping up and down practically, so happy and excited. It can take months and years sometimes. It took 